Pacific Island nations derive around six billion US dollars annually for its fish stocks, the number one revenue earner for some states. The Pacific community over 15 years has tagged over 450,000 tuna, generating the largest tagging data set for tuna management globally. While 18% of tags have been recovered, the SPC is seeking help from those involved in the commercial fishing industries to return the thousands of tags that are yet to make their way back to base. We are facing a lot of challenge to have the tag returned to SPC. We have a very large area where we're working in, a very large fisheries, and it's extremely important for the tag to be reported and retrieved in port. So we've got tag recovery officers employed in ministry as well as industry that are meeting tag finders all around the region to provide reward, validate the data and collect the information. So the tags actually are talking to us. They give us basic information such as migration of the fish, where the fish has been caught. Also give us a growth rate because people are measuring the fish so we know the lengths when they were released and the lengths when they were recaptured. But also it gives us information about the fisheries impact, how much fish are actually taken by, by the fisheries. Due to COVID-19's effect on tourism, many Pacific countries are turning solely to fisheries to provide the much needed revenue to sustain their own funding requirements. With the added pressure on this resource, the SPC has launched its 2020 tagging strategy into the vast Kiribati exclusive economic zone and the surrounding high seas. It will also provide the first opportunity to collect data on tuna from the Phoenix Islands protected area where fishing has been banned since 2015. This 15 year tuna tagging program has contributed significantly to the region becoming a global leader in the sustainable management of its tuna resources. The information itself underpins the stock assessments that we perform here at SPC and also the scientific advice that we can provide to the region's fishery managers. To retrieve the data faster, the SPC is offering cash rewards for return tags, up to 250 US dollars for an archival tag. Improving the retrieval rates for these electronic tags will be crucial in ongoing efforts to monitor and manage the health of this vital regional resource. Uh, recent studies have indicated that climate change is likely to cause an e eastwards distribution of tuna towards the high seas in the eastern Pacific. Our electronic tags are one of the tools we have to monitor how quickly the impacts of climate change are occurring. SPC is encouraging those who recover a tag to inform their fisheries department or fill and upload a form to SPC's tagging website to get paid.